Hey there, everybody, what's up? This video is going to show you guys and girls how to set up the Rune Master. The only way you can open up that side quest is open the Heart of Stone DLC. You don't have to get into it and play it. You come back on the east side of Lake Shanty. That's where they had the wedding with Shanty at. You will see they're set up in the tent. Go to the guy inside the tent, not outside. Outside guy sends you off for some armor. The inside guy is going to be the Rune Master. Now, so here I take the southern cave first. It's usually on the other side of the column in the middle. You hear about a million spiders groaning, no big deal. I never saw anything. You may or may not see one or two, but you're not going to be swamped. So, here's what I had to give him. First thing, I gave him the jade. He's got that. Now he needs money. So here, I had 10,000 crowns on him, because I was expecting this. I've done this before. So he's paid. So I leave, sell some inventory. Uh, lose some treasures, kill some bandits. Then we'll come back. Here I'm trying, and I know I don't have the other 10, but I'm going to come back, and I'm going to pay him another 10. And then his, his room, see how the rune master is there? That's all he has, a very small inventory. What do you see when I pay him everything? So anyway, a few days later, come back, give him the other 10. He builds it up a little more. Many and then comes the long grind. That last 15, that's all 35,000 crowns, I did in Toussaint because the loot in Toussaint is much more than in the base game. So he's going to talk how good he is, and he's definitely good at what he does. So now I have my enchanted armor with eruption. It, level 40 but now I have a new set here I'm going to enchant at level 93 and I'm getting ready to be level 100 so I'm going to put my level 40 enchanted armor away of Geralt the Eruptor the Pyromaniac and I'm going to replace it with the 93 here that I got at level 99 and once I do that I'll not only have the, the firepower plus my sign Igni sign tree is completely filled. I'm a pyromaniac. And the, have the igni lifts in your other clothing, the gauntlets, the trousers, the boots. That will round you out as the witcher fireball. So now, he's going to hit you up one last time. You're going to give him 15. Here it is. More in a few days. And kill a lot of bandits. Ready to chew Han's bases in Tucson. So this is it. I'm hoping this should be the last payment. For your aid, I think my newest creation. And there she is, in all her glory. Now his inventory is a monster, and it's got greater glyphs. Wouldn't mind a glance at what you got. You want the greater? They have the most power. Now look what he has. That is incredible. So I scrolled over for him to enchantment. And he tells you what you need to do a certain enchantment on your armor. Because I chose a Ruptor, I believe it was one Igni, one Quinn or something, and one Restoring or something like that. Anyway, it'll tell you what the glyphs are. All I had to get was one each. So I sold him a few of my runes that I don't carry. I like just the burning runes. And that was easy to get the cast. So now my level 93 Legendary Grandmaster, woven armor, is the Eruptor. And I can put my level 42 away. This is the new boss. Here I'm looking at everything else he has. You go in your swords, different enchantments will open up. He can also put extra slots in your swords. He can put three slots in every sword. So if you have a favorite sword you made, why not hook him up where he can put three slots in it and put your put your runes in it, and make that sort of beast. That's what I say, he opens up so much of the game, it's so easy to miss. I used to go to that tent and see the guy outside all the time. I'm lazy, I never went in the tent. And so I lost out, but I found it this year, so I'm good to go. So there it, are. There it is, nope, I'm still looking. I'm reading everything too. He's got so much stuff, I couldn't even want to put it all out. But the green ones you see there, I already have 
the runes and the glyphs. But I have just highlighted because they're runes, it's a sword. You can tell just by looking at the at the runes or glyphs. It's all kinds of all kinds of enchantments. It's a do not miss part of the Witcher. And the exploding enemies. I exploded a fiend about a week ago, but it was near the Crones Mountain and it blew up in the bushes, so I couldn't I wouldn't post it. There's another one in the game. I'm gonna blow him to smithereens. But now I can stand and take some hits more from the from the monsters and the enemies and then try to get them down low enough where I can hit it with the igni or the fire stream and watch them explode in the ball of fire. So it's a blast. So anyway, there it is. He's set up, I'm set up. And you see the three yellow marks on my woven chest army? That means it's enchanted. And you see over there on the left, my Grandmaster Earth sign is not enchanted. But I bought everything. All I have to do now is buy the runes. So the Witcher world is mine. So guys and girls, I strongly recommend you try that. And keep on gaming, that's all I gotta say. The more you have to look into it, the more you learn. Have a good one.